when I first wanted to become a YouTuber, it started like back in middle school or something. I just came up with a random idea. I was, I was just asking myself one day, what do I want to do when I grow up? What am I going to do? Do I want to be like an airline pilot? You know, I looked into that stuff and I decided, no, I don't want to become an airline pilot. And before that, I was thinking YouTuber, but like, how am I going to do that? That's unrealistic of me. That's not going to work out. Like, what am I going to produce? I don't have a good video camera or something. I don't have anything to produce videos on. What am I going to, what kind of niche am I going to pick? How, what am I going to record for my videos? How am I going to edit them? I just didn't know how I would figure it out. But over time, I came up, I overcome these things. I did my own research. I looked at countless YouTube videos. I watched a bunch of Ali Abdal videos, videos of other YouTubers. And I learned and overcame these challenges. And I want to relay some of the advice that I got from these people onto you guys and to help you in your journeys. If you ever want to become a YouTuber, it doesn't. you don't have to be making videos on self-improvement. You can make a gaming channel. You can make a fitness channel. You can make a lifestyle one. Whatever you want. This works for any niche. I'm going to give you advice that I would have wanted to have when I was in your position. And this is really going to help you. This is going to really be helpful for you guys. And this is going to be some real genuine advice. Let me start with a story. So... When I, when I was recording videos, I never really did it for the money. I never thought I was going to make money off it. Of course, that's always been a dream of mine. I'm halfway there, kind of. I need like a thousand subscribers or so. But I never really wanted to do it for the money. I never really cared about people at my school knowing. I never cared to share with them. What, what I really liked doing was just recording the videos and getting to talk on camera and presenting my ideas and in getting to help people out in the world. I liked helping people. I liked giving people advice and recording videos of myself. <laughs> I enjoyed making videos. I never did it for the money. I never did it for... So you can't, you can't record videos for the money. If you're just out here to make money, that's not going to work necessarily. Unless you already have a brand. If you're just new to YouTubing, you, you got to expect not to make money in like the first year or so. Post like a hundred videos or so and improve something each time and then you can talk about making money. But it's going to take a while to just do it because you love it. Because if you, tr if you try to do YouTube and you don't like it, you never, you're going to quit long before you ever start making money. If you don't love what you're doing, you have to be obsessed with it. So back before I ever like kind of anybody I know ever found about my YouTube channel, before my mom even knew I had a YouTube channel... I just had a ton of anxiety about it. I kept it a secret. I'd lock my door and record videos, and I wouldn't want anybody to know about them. I'd record them in secret. Like, if I didn't want my mom fucking walking in on me recording videos, because back in the day, I felt that was, like, cringe. I didn't want her to know I was making YouTube videos and recording, because, I don't know, I thought I'd make fun, be made fun of or something. Like, she thought I was weird. But, yeah, I just had a bunch of anxiety around that. And I just really cared about what other people thought of me. I had a bunch of pent-up emotions around YouTube. And the lesson I want to teach you, the second thing, is not to care as much about what other people think of you. Um, there's this such thing in psychology called the spotlight effect. And what that is, is everybody is focusing their attention on themselves. You are your own main character of your story. You are, like, the GTA character. Everyone is their main character. You're the... All your attention's ever focused on you. Everybody else around you that they see are just side characters. They don't care. They're obsessed about themselves. But for many of us, we think about... Everybody cares about us. Everybody's focusing their attention on us at every moment. That's how it can feel at sometimes. Because you're just your version is messed up, your way of <laughs> so everybody's focused on themselves, so don't worry about what you're doing. Nobody's gonna care in three generations from now, very soon, like after you die, everybody's gonna forget that you existed, so yet you can't do it for other people, you can't do it for other people's approval. you have to do it for yourself, so if you really like making YouTube videos and you're afraid of your parents finding out, your school finding out, don't worry about it. Nobody's going to care. 
back when I, I was afraid of my school finding out, and then, you know, one of my friends found out about the YouTube channel from something, and then the whole school found out, and you know what I learned from that? Still to this day, nobody really cares. I mean, I'm not getting that much shit anymore. No one really cares. <laughs> and it, I got that experience. I got to see it firsthand. You, the way to stop caring about what other people think is to just realize how little they do. Nobody's focusing on you. So you can act freely and don't have so much pressure on yourself. So back in the beginning, when I wanted to make a YouTube channel, I had this thing where I wouldn't record anything. I was like, I want to make YouTube videos. I want this. I want to actually like become a YouTuber. I think that'd be a good idea. But like, where do I start? Where do I start making YouTube videos? There's no real guideline out there. Like, maybe there is, but I haven't found any guideline on just how to make a YouTube channel. They don't tell you like, do this thing, make post this title, make this specific video of yourself. There's no real guidance. It's because you just have to make it up as you go and learn along the way. And you just got to record your first video. I wanted to make YouTube videos, but I haven't even posted one video. I haven't even tried. Have you even people like want to make make YouTube videos and been start producing YouTube videos and stuff? Have you even made one video of yourself and posted it? You just have to try and be okay with failing because that's the cost of entry. You can't win unless you fail. Like every winner you see is just a loser who kept trying. Failure's part of the process, so don't be afraid of failing once. Remember when I first started working out? Nowadays I have a normally pretty good physique. But back when I first started working out was maybe back in middle school, back in the start of high school probably. The end of 8th grade, going into my freshman year, I started working out. And, you know, I'd work out every day after school. And I'd see, like, my muscles aren't growing. Nothing's really changing. I feel sore. I feel like shit. It's really hard to work out every day. And I was like, nothing's really changing. I don't feel myself growing. But I just stuck to it every day. I just had a, built a habit out of working out. I, I just thought, I trust in the process that one day I'm going to see myself with muscles. And long enough, after like two years, I got some muscles. You just have to stay consistent. If you can show up every day and just do something, produce, produce a video every day, produce something every day. If you can just stay consistent, you will win. Consistency is the key. You can't beat consistency. Because everybody in your position is just going to quit long before they ever get anywhere. You have to stay consistent. If you can post, if you can show up every day, you've already won. You're going to succeed on YouTube if you can just show up and post a video every day. Get over that procrastination barrier. Get over the frustration and worry and the, and the grit of you and just post a video okay back when I wanted to start making YouTube videos I didn't know what to make videos about I'm like I have some like ideas maybe I can make a gaming channel maybe I could record myself playing Fortnite or something maybe I could like share some of my knowledge I read in books maybe I could record myself working out I didn't really know what to make videos on back in the day so I just tried something I recorded myself talking about some random stuff I learned online Reco talking about my ideas. That's just what I did in the first part. I just tried something out. Because. And then later on. It turns out that I. Recorded myself. That I make my channel off like. Doing ice baths and stuff. Working out. Doing these challenges. That's what my video. That's what my channel has turned into. So. The lesson from this. Is that your niche is going to appear over time. You can't go into your channel expecting you know what topic if you're not going to know what topic to make your videos about you just got to start recording about whatever just try something out and your niche will appear over time after recording enough videos you'll just see like 
you know, I'm getting a ton of views on the ones of me posting. I'm getting a bunch of views on the videos that I post of me working out versus the ones of me talking. I'm going to try that out. And your niche is going to appear over time. So you can't just, you can't go in there knowing. You just got to try stuff out. It's like, Mr. Beast, he started posting videos of him playing Minecraft. And now he makes like super expensive challenge videos. Super expensive videos of him like giving people money and doing philanthropy and stuff. Ryan Trahan, he started out making videos of him doing track and field and running and fitness videos. And now he makes like videos of him doing stuff, buying things and random vlogging videos. Your niche will change over time. Early days of YouTube, I thought I saw the Mr. Beast videos and I was th he said like you you can just if you make a good video, it's going to blow up. It's all about skill. And I would just put effort into creating the perfect titles, the perfect thumbnails, creating the best possible editing, creating the best videos possible. And then I'd post them and they get like no views. And then I'd see like some video that I put like menial effort into. I didn't even really try on that video and it just blew up. It's confusing the fuck out of me. I'm like, I'm putting effort into this thing, yet this thing is making my views. This is what's getting views. Why the fuck do I even try on YouTube? Anyway. So that's what taught me the one thing. Is that quantity makes quality. If you... It's just a game of luck on YouTube. Some of it. Okay. If you... Try to... Let me... This thing. So there's something where... They did some study or whatever. They had one team who had 30 days to work on one pot. The, this team, they were judged on the quality of how well they could make pots, like clay pots. And they had one team that was given 30 days to create one pot, one perfect pot. And then they had a different team that had 30 days and had to make a pot every day. And they were judged off the quality. You would think the one that had 30 days to create one pot would have the best pot out of all of them, had the best quality, but the one with, had to, had to make 30 pots every, the one that had to make one pot every day, their group always had the better pot. That's because quantity makes quality. They had more experience making pots, so they got to experiment more, and there's less risk. Whereas these guys, they didn't get to experiment much, they put a bunch of effort, and it didn't really work out. So you got to just post a bunch of videos, make a bunch of videos, and then some of them are going to stick. Some You're going to get to experiment more. you got to see what works. you got to get that feedback. So you can't just make one video every, like, month and expect to grow your channel that way. Because you're not getting enough feedback. You're not learning from your videos. you just got to post a bunch of videos, see which ones are making it, and don't try to... Don't try to produce perfect videos. Be okay with making mediocre ones. But try different things and see what works. So, along with me trying to create a bunch of quality videos and stuff, instead of just producing a ton, what I also used to do is I'd just record the same videos. I'd record the same style. I'd record the same talking head videos of me giving advice like this with the same editing style the same layout, the same, generally the same stuff. Making the same kind of thumbnails. And I wasn't really experimenting that much. And I was wondering, why am I not getting views? <laughs> I'm, I'm recording, I'm making videos, I'm showing up every day. But I'm not getting views, why is that? And then I kind of changed it up. And I started recording videos of me working out, me doing ice baths. Changing up the series, trying different stuff outside. Recording me doing push-up challenges, recording myself going outside in nature and doing things, going on runs. And those videos started getting views, found me, they started getting views, they started kind of blowing up. And that taught me a very valuable lesson. You have to do different variety, you have to do different varieties of content, you have to try different styles, 
different variations. You have to have a variety show. You can't just try the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Trying the same thing, ex expecting a different result is the definition of, in of insanity. And I, I'm not insane yet. So you must try different things. You can't stick with the same stuff. Try a different style. Try, if you're like a channel about fitness or whatever, about self-improvement like me, try recording yourself just walking outside and trying and working out. Record videos of you doing challenges like the ice bath series. Try different stuff, do different varieties, and see what sticks. If you record the same videos, you never know. Maybe you're naturally good at recording fitness videos. Maybe that's what your audience wants to see. Maybe that's what's going to blow up your channel. So you have to try different varieties and experiment. Experimenting is super important. I used to think that I needed just the best microphone, the best webcam, the best PC for editing when I first started my YouTube channel. And now I look back and see none of that shit really mattered. I ever could record the same videos I do on my smartphone. Probably even better, <laughs> honestly. I'm recording on webcam with a microphone. I could probably record better on my phone, honestly. I could, if not close to the same quality. So your equipment doesn't really matter. I used to edit on some super small Windows PC, and I don't really even edit my videos that much. So your equipment doesn't really matter. Just record your videos. Record your first video, get your smartphone, and just shoot a video. Your equipment does not matter.